guys, and welcome to another episode of Live Well with Coach P. And of course, I'm Coach P. And today we're going to be looking at the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen, according to the EWT. But we'll jump right into that right after this. It's no secret, guys, that we are exposed to way more toxins than before. I mean, they're in our air supply. They're in our water supply, they're in our soils, they're in the foods that are grown in the soils, they're in our hair care, they're in our skin care, they're in our clothing, they're in our food packaging, they're everywhere. But, but there's hope guys, there is hope. So today I want to talk to you guys about the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen. Some of you guys may be wondering, what exactly is that? Well, this is actually a list of foods, because we're talking about food today. These are a list of foods that were tested by the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, which basically highlight foods that are higher in these toxins and chemicals and those that are less. So I'm bringing this to your attention because I want that when you guys go shopping or to your farmer's market, wherever you may be purchasing your food from, then you know, hey, this is my favorite food and this is on the dirty dozen list. Let me go ahead and splurge a little bit more money and buy the cleaner option. Or you can learn a new skill and grow at home so you know exactly what's in it. And that's okay guys, you don't have to go through that entire hassle. So let's jump right into the dirty dozen list. Number one. Strawberries, number two, spinach, number three, kale, collard, and mustard greens, number four, nectarines, number five, apples, number six, grapes, number seven, bell and hot peppers, number eight, cherries, number nine, peaches, number 10, pears, number 11, celery, and number 12, tomatoes. Now let's take a look at the clean 15. Number one, avocados. Number two, sweet corn. Number three, pineapple. Number four, onions. Number five, papaya. Number six, sweet peas, frozen. Number seven, asparagus. Number eight, honeydew melon. Number nine, kiwi. Number 10, cabbage. Number 11, mushrooms. Number 12, cantaloupe. Number 13, mangoes. Number 14, watermelon. And number 15, potatoes. Now guys, these lists are not exhaustive. What does that mean? There are some foods that you know without a shadow of a doubt based on where you live, or your geography, that these foods are grown without chemicals and toxins, right? Or they're very, very low in toxins, so they would fall under the clean list, or there may be some foods that are high in toxins that are in the dirty dozen list that are not listed here. Because what they have done basically is they've listed foods that are commonly used by a wide subset of people, so you're not gonna see you know, some of everything in there for sure. But what I will also share with you guys is that this list is updated every year, so stuff that would have been on there last year may not be on there, or some new stuff may have been added, right? So this is a list that came from the end of 2022, because as we're in 2023, you would review 2022's this list for 2023, and when we go into 2024, you would review 2023 for 2024. So I'm going to place their links below to their website so you guys can check out some more information about them. But I hope guys that when you're going shopping, you know exactly what to spend a little bit more money on. If there's an organic version of that. And if there isn't guys, learn the new skill of growing your food. You can't go wrong. But if not guys, then you know, just buy something else altogether. Alright? So I wanted to bring this video to you guys this week because for the next two weeks, I'm going to be talking about eating your fruits and vegetable peels. And obviously, if some of the foods fall into the dirty dozen, then you know, hey, let's look for stuff on the clean dozen list or let's say if there's your organic version of that where it can be peeled because there's some really cool stuff about the peels that people may not be aware of all right guys so thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope it helped you guys a lot do me a favor give me a thumbs up to this video and if there are any comments or queries if you want to mention any other foods that are not on this list feel free to drop them in the comments below so i can learn something and other people can learn something as well all right guys until next week bye bye